Hey everybody, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. This is Blake, and in person still, we have Bob. Hey, this is my new intro line. Connor. Hello there. And the Miggity Matt Daddy, Matt. Hey, I'm the sweetest man of magic you know. Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, today we're looking at um, a bonus video for Ang Smudge, the forward that was only included on the fan fiction version of the story. Now, we read the fanfiction.net version for our, um, our riff and reading, but... Um, on film fiction, I understand there were like a few fixes to the main story, and there was also this note explaining a little I, bit more about the actual writing process. Yeah, I actually did a text comparison. There are no fixes across the. If anything, there are more errors. Uh, wow. Oh. Oh yeah, because we had, we had. I think we've been told that there were some fixes in the film fiction. Version. Yeah, but no. Okay. No, All right. That so was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> apparently not. Um, but. The author's note is something that isn't on any other version, so we're going to go ahead and just give it a read. Yeah, so this is before the first chapter on the Fin Fiction version. Author's note. A note from the author. A little bit about this story and me. This is my first ever fan fiction of any kind. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is also the first time I have ever been able to come up with more than a page of dialogue. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, that's actually that's actually one of the things he said in the interview. He was... Uh, which is also releasing probably today or sometime soon. Um, that the uh, yeah he he generally has trouble with dialogue. So, no. so. as obvious by reading the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, kind of diving into the deep end, like more than a page of dialogue to like a hunt, like a fifty thousand word story. Yeah, like a full fledged yeah. story. Yeah, that that was always my weak point when writing stories in school. I glossed over that comma. Yeah, commas was. I have a long history of insomnia, and sometimes when it gets really bad, I go into this kind of trance state. I can't fall asleep. Can't. I can't fall asleep. I can still feel the room around me, but yet I dream. Oh, waking dream. And see, like I talked to him about this during the interview, and. Yeah. It's it, this makes it sound so mystical and magical, and it's really not. What well, he's describing is just being tired and and sort of like like drifting right on the edge of sleep. Like he described it as he was sick at the time, and that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, if I've you're been sick, sick and tired, like literally sick of this shit. and tired, you would be you would be kind of out of it. And that makes a lot more sense. Whereas here. It sounds like insomnia has sent him into this like spiritual realm, yeah, where France, stories are magic. Where there's out. druid Jesus, yeah, yeah, druid Jesus. This story happened as a result of one of these dreams. I had been up for twenty hours. Oh man, watching Alida Pony vids. Uh, twenty yeah. hours. Oh uh, yeah, because of the delays to my flight, I was up thirty six hours the first day of this trip. You yeah. were up the, twenty the first two whole days. hours, and by the end of it, you were writing MLP fanfic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. I wrote like a, a sixty thousand word story. Where oh yeah, I, I got MLP and just fuck it everybody. It was called Smanks too much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, and reading Alida fanfic, so the subject was on my mind. I just couldn't fall all the way asleep and get some good old REM sleep. Ah, I love REM. That's me in the corner. <laughs> yeah. That's the end yeah. of the world as we know it. As an even stranger point of fact, I tend to dream in the third person, and rarely am I even in my dreams. I mean, that's really not that that's, unusual. No, I, I mean, saying. I dream in first person, but I've heard of people dreaming in third. That's not even that strange. I dream in both. I mean, you know, it's just I whatever happens. I dream of Genie. Yeah. Yeah, I dream of Genie. Yeah. <laughs> good old Genie. My dreams, even when fully asleep, are like watching TV or cool. being absorbed in a really good book. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, that I don't. Does that mean anything? Like, I mean, no. I feel like watching TV and being absorbed in a really good book are very different experiences. I feel like that entire thing was pointless. Um, He's just that, telling yeah. us about his dreams. I guess. I don't care about your dreams. In that way, my subconscious wrote this story. I really have no idea where it is going. Obviously. I, I was just along for the ride. Over the next few weeks, I had other dreams continuing the story, so I'm going to try my best to remember and write it down as I saw it. That first night lasted 36 hours, BTW. Ugh. What? <laughs> Number one, three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, then I had to work with this rattling around in my wait, head. Wait, wait, wait. So Okay. You were up 20 hours, and then you stayed up for another 36 hours? I guess, yeah. Or were you just up 36 hours in total? I don't know, man. I'll, I'll say this. Again, I, after having spoken to the guy um, in the interview, which, again, you should really watch. It's a, long, it's a long video, but you should watch the interview. Yeah. Um, 
we uh, we talked about the way this story is written, and the way he explains it in the interview makes it sound significantly less mystical than this makes it sound. This makes it sound like a spirit took him over, and he was like channeling Urga. Thoth, yeah. and Thoth told him what to write, and he had no idea. Urga took him but, over. But like, no, <laughs> Peter Pan picked up a The way he explained it to me was he had yeah. he had several dreams. And he was, he was like, going to work and doing his job and stuff. And at some point, he was like, you know what? I, I should really just write this down to get it out of my head. And then he just wrote it down the way it happened in the dream without really regard to how good a story it was. Because it wasn't a very and good then, story. And then just, like, posted it later because he was like, eh, it's up. It's on a computer now. So do you think he meant to write this as mystical? I think so. Yeah. Like, I think it's really like, trying to overplay it. Yeah, just yeah. talking it up, yeah. Like, yeah, like, I mean... My dreams like, are this mysterious thing. Right. They're very like, strange. I mean, like, the difference is it's harder to be that kind of, like, smokescreen of, of, like, look at how mysterious I am when we're talking face-to-face. Yeah. You know? I mean, I mean, like... like it's harder to do that. And I'm not saying he's tra- he was being, re- like, a liar. I'm just saying, like, everybody kind of plays things up when you don't have, like, you know... When you don't have the person you're talking to right in front of you, it's easier to play things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely. And so, like, he's ta- he's writing to whoever reads this. So he might... He, he probably just played it up a little bit. That's, yeah. that's not even that unusual. Yes. The name is a kind of joke. When having a few friends beta the story, the first thing one of them said was, Angst much? Uh, yeah. af- after getting similar responses about other parts of the story, I thought it would make a good title. You were wrong. I, uh, I mean... It, 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 stick, it stuck with us a lot. Angst much. Angst much. I feel like... I don't think it's a good title, See, though. If it's an gotten, apt title. If Yell had gotten there first, it would have been just called Smangst much, so... Yeah. Yeah. I but for real though, I don't think that's a good title to the story. It's an apt it's, title, sure. It's apt yeah, yeah. It's good. Descri- describing the story, but it's not a good title of the story. It doesn't yeah. tell us yeah. anything. I, I like what's going to happen. I do like it a lot. Really related. Much. It's yeah. not really related to the plot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I guess it is really dumb as an actual title, but it is the perfect title. Like I, I'm, you know, I'm glad imagine, it's called that. Yeah, imagine if the story was called Journey to Another World. Like, yeah, like, yeah. My, my it would really in lose, Equestria. It would like, really lose something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like... I don't, I don't know if I agree well, with Well, I that. mean, like, think about, like, Star Wars... Star Wars is, like, the, the first Star Wars movie is, like, you know, Luke, uh, Luke is doing cool stuff and all this stuff, and it's basically the hero's journey, right? If they just titled it Space Hero's Journey, that... That would be really weird, and it would be an accurate descriptor, but it wouldn't work because Star Wars is also good. Yeah, but I Angst like... Much as a story is not good, so <laughs> it works because the title's not good. I guess. Well, I, I mean, it's stuck with us. Would you? I mean, imagine this riff. If rather than saying "Welcome back to Angst Much," we had to say "Welcome back to My Lith in Equestria." Yeah, and I mean, like I, the same way with the like, Yoey Moon. I mean, my friends the, upon us. The majesty of having such a bizarre title. Me kind of really strikes really bizarre us. story. Yeah. Yeah. Me and my friends upon the same yeah. thing. Yeah, it's definitely Mess unique. Up in the I don't know if there. Itself, I don't know if there I, are any other stories named angst much. Yeah, no. I mean it's unique. Sure, I just I don't think it's a good title uh, well, of for a not. story. Well, That's yeah, yeah. Saying. Well, speaking like if, if it was some you were reading seriously, but I think it is the best title. I'm glad we get to say welcome back to angst much. The best title. For, for the story, story. It is, and for what we do. Yeah, for what we I'm do. Good. Ink Smudge is as good as it gets. Ink Smudge. Um, I suck at naming things anyways and hadn't thought of one yet. Yay, I got Alida angst, but who doesn't? Lots I just, of people. Lots of most people. I just get to write about it now. Lots of lots of 36-year-olds don't have a lot don't of angst. Don't have a lot of angst. Right. I mean, I don't have that much angst either. I don't either. have any. <laughs> I'm not really angsty, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Not that angsty, at least. I ain't frowned since 06. I ain't yeah. cried since 01. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, in got no hard since oh six. <laughs> in regards to the OC, it is, and yet it isn't me. Okay. I guess he is Meba, my subconscious version of myself. Which is what he said in the interview. He thinks Alet like me and has Alet of the gifts and quirks, yeah. but yet he is Alet like a character I have role played in many games in the past. Huh? Imagine that you role play a character like yourself. Yeah, wow. and we talked about the Alet thing because it's like it showed up a million times on this note, um, where like Jack's saying it's like something that will later become accepted. 
And I don't know. He's like he said it was so. the he said it was the the ain't of our generation. And I'm like the difference is that ain't is a whole new word, and Alit is just joining a lot together. Yeah, and like he he actually defined his he, he said his <coughs> difference. The difference he uses for them is Alit A L O T no space is, and I'm just saying it like that to to differentiate the two. Um, Alit like that is. An unspecified quantity, but a lot is a specified quantity. But it is. But it's not because you still use a lot it, to describe. I mean, what I mean, a lot of stuff doesn't mean 122 things. And he said like, a lot is. To, and he said a lot to find like a parking lot or something. And I'm like, to, to which I say, uh, you're, it's, this is just like a word game. Words can have multiple definitions. Right. Just because lot can mean a parking lot that holds a specific amount doesn't mean a lot can't also right, mean like just a r u. If I just said a r u n is a is a word, and I was like, oh well, you know, uh, a run, right? And and you're like, okay, well, run is a verb, so you can't use it that way. Like, no, run is also a noun. You can use run. I run, went for a run. I went for a run, and like if I, I was trying to make a, a new word, you'd have you know you'd have to use the context that the word is supposed yeah, to be. It would be you like can't just play word games with it. Yeah, it would be like saying, like, for the noun form, it would be like if I said, well, to run, that's a verb. So if I want to say I went for a run, it should be, like you I said. I went for a to run. Yeah, A-R-U-N, just one word, a run, for, a specifically run. for the noun form. No, words can have multiple definitions. So yeah. I completely disagree on the outlet thing. It's just a misspelling. But he did grant us a lot of the, mis- the other misspellings yeah. that we, we call yeah. them on. So. My, my point is that outlet is just silly. <laughs> just don't do it. Like, don't, if anyone's tempted to use it, don't. Don't. I'm not a big fan of self-insertion and really get annoyed at the first-person ones, but then I didn't consciously write this, so Meba, my dream self, does. Does what? Oh, oh uh, that was Does get annoyed do, at first-person one? Does uh, consciously... Does, does write this? Does... Yeah, does what? Does am not a big fan of self-insertion? Yeah, it does am not a big fan of Also, the story is... Um, not first person. It is third person limited. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I think that's what he's saying. He's like, well, actually... No, he says I'm not a big fan yeah, of first person. Yeah, you're right. Per- you're right. So it's like, I'm not a fan of self-insertion, which this story is. Get annoyed at the self- first person ones, which this story isn't. Didn't consciously write this, which is like neither here nor there. And so maybe my dream self does. Yeah. yeah. Well, does, does he is? Yeah. yeah. My dream self does I think a does big is. fan of self-insertion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as I said, I was just along for the ride and had no idea where the story was going. Sometimes Man. I swear I am seeing someone else's dreams, but that's another therapy session, I suppose. Oh, oh man. Yeah, SpongeBob showed up in his dream. Oh, gosh, that's and, a little and, bit cringy, and, don't and, you think? And just knocked away his quarter for his horsey ride. Yeah. <laughs> uh, horsey ride, God. Yeah. No, that's what Patrick's yeah. dream was in that episode. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's Drax's dreams, too. Didn't you read chapter Oh, five? yeah, gosh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, I think part of is is every mm-hmm. story needs a protagonist. All the main cast are female, and I really can't bring myself to RP a female pony. Wow, wow! That Man, third green, like myself. I get that every story needs a protagonist, and all all the main cast are female. You could have said like for, so for contrast, the main character is male, like something like that. But no, that third one's just like weird. So it's no one's asking you to RP; they're asking you to write a story. Yeah, actually, no, no one's, one's even asking, asking you to write a story. You're asking yourself to write a story, and then you're saying, "I can't, I can't b- lower myself yeah. to RP as a female." Like, fuck you. Yeah, like, you're not role playing; you're yeah. writing. And even if he's trying Dude, to say, stop. "Like, I can't make myself think from a female perspective," then you wouldn't have been able to write the female characters like, at all. I'm just thinking, like, dude, stop making this so hard. Like, yeah, like that shit up above about being in a trance. Like, just say I had a dream like this. All this shit right here. Just say normally I dream about myself. So myself showed up. Like that's enough. You don't have to get misogynistic. Yeah, and and honestly, like it's it's so bizarre to me when people talk about like writing from a female perspective, writing from a male perspective, especially when it's you're talking about the protagonist who from the get go is going to be just like you. All you have to do is change the he's to she's, and you've got a female version yeah. of yourself. Like it's There's, if the character's gonna be like you, the only things that you might say are different between a guy and a girl generically are maybe personality traits because nobody talks about it. Like my vagina thinks blah blah blah. Like no woman I thinks mean, that way I, or talks that way, I so mean, it doesn't matter and, that she's a female. Yeah, and, and we can't even say no females. I mean, really, but while there are things that are more commonly associated or attributed to other genders. There are women who act exactly like you right. expect men to act, and men who act exactly like you might expect women to and act. And that means that's like that's just human variation. Mm-hmm. 
And, like, not to get... I mean, we're not trying to go political here. I'm just saying, like, you know, when you're writing a character and it needs, you want it to be a female and you also already know that the character's traits are going to be just like you, just write it like it's you and then just change the pronouns. Yeah, and if there's something that, you know... Like, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Well, uh, and no one will be like, that's not a female character. Like, uh, well, then fuck them. Yeah. I mean, just like I said... Even if, like, y- y- you know, you don't want to write a female character, like, just, you already said, you, it's basically yourself. Like, you already said it. You already explained yeah. it. Stop digging. Stop. Yeah. E- you own the shovel store, or whatever we said. Yeah. Uh, you own yeah. the shovel Sor- store. Sorry, folks. Just not a line I'm willing to cross, even in my dreams, apparently. Even it makes in my dreams. <laughs> weird and misogynistic. Yeah. Finally, a word of warning. If you don't want to read porn, I suggest skipping chapters three and five. They contain some pretty explicit shipping. Well, I think I'd call it a bit more than shipping. Yeah, that's not really shipping. That's just fuck. <laughs> yeah. I wrote the story in a way that these can be skipped without missing much of the main storyline. That's true. Yeah, I'll grant them that, yeah. I'm not a porn writer, so it's kept to a minimum. Why'd Two you chapters put it in at all? 16. Two chapters out of 16. I, I'm not a porn writer. Why did that's you... a decent fraction of the story. Why man. did you put it in at all, man? Because that's what he dreamt. Wink. Uh, I mean, to be fair, he said that he also, in the dream, um, did like see the sex scene in Pinky, but chose not to write it because he was sick of writing the sex scene. So, yeah. I guess I was really horny that first night. Lol. I'm Lol. An, I'm an adult. I have adult. Dr- Stop digging, dude. Yeah. I am an adult. I have adult dreams, and that's what this is. You have been warned. If I get a good enough response, however, I may go back and write some of the missing scenes, but not until the rest of the story is done. No, wait, wait, what, what does that mean? Like, I, that's really weird to me, because in the interview, he specifically said he doesn't want to be considered a clop writer, and people kept begging him to write more clop scenes. I don't know. Maybe he, know, maybe he just maybe. didn't want to look like a, a complete stonewall well, here. I but. guess that's, yeah, that's that's maybe what it is. He just wanted to seem more receptive to it, but really he didn't want to. I mean, he, that's that's are definitely you saying, possible. Are you saying he offered up, you know, that, like, hey, if you guys want to do it, I'll do it. People told him to do it, and now like, he's nah. like, oh, why do they keep telling me to do it? Apparently, yes. I said a lot of people are afraid to say no because they don't want to get yelled yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. If, if you don't want to answer the question, don't put the question in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and I'm aware that I start to sound like a wannabe Dr. Phil, but damn it, these ponies are crazy. Mm. And I'd like to hope I would be able to help them deal with their problems. Even if their problems Wait, are imaginary. deal with their problems this well if it ever came to be real. Oh, oh my god. But Even- hey, artistic license and all that. Enjoy. Even if their problems are completely imaginary. Yeah. And, and imposed so, upon them by you, the psychiatrist. Yeah, can you scroll up to the very top? I just want to see the tags. Okay, he does mark this as alternate universe. That would be, I think, the out no, and we I, can give him yeah. for even gaslighting Pinkie Pie because, like, it's just a different universe where what he says is true. That said, it would still be incredibly rude I, to walk up to someone who just met you and say that. I wonder in an alternate universe where we read this version and this was the first thing you guys heard. Like, we dumped you right into chapter one. Like, so, like, if we did this shit... First, yeah, y- you like, already have quite. You an meaning the on viewers? Friends. Yeah. Also, I just noticed something. What? Go back up to the top. Look, see that little black right there? There's a read. There's like an audio button. What does that do? Oh, oh, is it text to speech? It. Holy oh shit! God. Why is fan fiction the best site in the entire world for fan fiction? This website is the bomb. Of Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. This website is so good. We didn't even need to read that. We could have just <laughs> had it read to us. Yeah, we Damn could, it. we could have just You know what? Fuck it. We don't even need to do riffs anymore. Let's just <laughs> let's just uh put these things up, right? Yeah. Like we'll just write our riffs and then just text to speech it and text to speech yeah. the story and yeah. just have it playing at the same time. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just send an email to them and be like, straight up, hey, I'm not really into My Little Pony or my, or fan fiction in general, but your site is like the best design for it, hands down. It has every feature I could want and more. Can we get the framework so we can run our own website? That's yeah. that's based <laughs> on ours, yeah. but isn't fan, isn't My Little Pony related? <laughs> Holy cow. The Steel Donut would be gods. Yeah. Gods of fan fiction. That's us. We would call from our own fields. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, but uh, finally, so the short description of the whole story that he gave here. 
Twilight summons a human Klish story and Sue's film at 11. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's even a download button so you can download the file. Uh-huh. Oh and there's gosh. a like-dislike bar. You can actually see the like-dislikes. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And look, it tells you how many people are viewing at the moment. Us. Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah, that's where? the number of people viewing at the moment. It tells you views, comments, how much, it, like, when it was published. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh-huh. Well... Yeah, that's the uh, that's the fan fiction intro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we wanted to do in this video? I think that's it, right? I think that's about it. Um, a load of shit. Uh, if you want to hang out with us, uh, got to plug the public Discord. You can go there. You can also request stories there. Yeah, there's can... a link in the description. Yep, link, yep, link in the description. And if you uh, don't want to join the public Discord, you can also send us stories via email, Twitter. You can comment. Uh, just make sure you provide the links so that we can find it. Don't have to dig around with just the title. Yeah. yeah. Or just leave a comment if you just want to say something. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment, comment, talk, discuss. Yeah. Okay. 